with only a week to go. This is your official survival guide to Glastonbury here on Hits Radio. I'm Ryan Knott. Now, love it or loathe it, there's nowhere quite like Glastonbury. Since its humble beginnings as a Pilsen Festival in 1970, when T-Rex headlined around 1,500 people, the West Country Festival has well as almost 40 years of sunshine, floods, and a million unforgettable performances. Now, every June, the site becomes the second biggest city in Somerset, after that, as around 200,000 punters, performers, and crew head down for between three and more days of music, poetry, performance, and... Hedonism. From the green fields to the dance village, the pyramid today to the cider bus, there's enough here. Keep you busy 24 7. So why sleep? He said sleep when you get home. Here's our guide to Glastonbury. Flicking through a little book of sex. Now, of course, the weather at Glastonbury, mostly something's probably infamous for. Always raining, isn't it? It's always that muddy, rainy feel you get. However, this year, could you be taking the wellies off and putting the sunglasses on for this weekend's bash? Well, with four days to go, we've been looking at the weather reports, predicting the two days the festival will be sunny, and the Friday featuring a bit of rain, a bit of rain on Saturday morning as well. But it could be a little bit trenchy for you, so we'd recommend taking your wellies just in case, and also some clothes. Don't ever take your best clothes, okay? Festivals do turn into fashion statements, but uh, they do also turn into mud wrestling. 